This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so Maven is a build tool, which we discussed earlier also. So in order to convert the code into the package, we do a lot of things. We do a lot of things which includes downloading the code, compiling the code, unit tests, downloading third party libraries, you know, package it, many things we do actually. So in order to do that, we have to automate because we do 20 times in a day, 30 times in a day we do that activity. So we can't repeat this stuff ourselves. So for that, we need a build automation tool. Now we can also call Maven as a project management tool also. Why? Because as part of the project management tool, we have a compilation, testing, packaging, installations, deploy, all these things, we get it done with the Maven as well. Now this tool is basically from Apache. So the moment I say it's Apache, it's become a free and open source. And this tool in Java, so that means if you want to run this application uh, in uh, Windows or Linux, you can do so. Uh, you need to have Java installed. The latest version of uh, Maven is uh, 3.x, and this tool has in, uh, built in dependency management functionality. That means uh, if your package is dependent on some other package, so that package needs to be downloaded from the uh, repository, so it will be doing automatically. So that is the functionality what we have so yeah this is the small introduction of apache maven now where we are right now in sdl cycle so look at this here <clears throat> we do the plan we do the code we do the analyze build ut packaging archiving deploy to qa at means acceptance testing cc and release so all these phases we have crossed and we are at build phase. That means we are learning some of the build tool, okay? And after that, tomorrow, I'm going to teach you uh, archiving tool, which is Artifactory. Okay, so this is a where we are today. And next day, tomorrow, we'll be at this place. Okay, so are you comfortable so far? Any questions, any doubts? All of you? Yeah. Okay. Now, what about other tools? So let's say if you don't like Maven, what, uh, what are the other tools we are going to learn? So yes, we have multiple options available. We have a make file. Initially, it's, we started with a make file in 1990s. And after that, we migrated to Ant. Ant is also from Apache, and it's also built in Java. And then we got a Maven, which we are learning, and which is very popular. We got a Gradle also, okay? And MS Build for .NET and Ant, PY Builder, and many, many products which we have. So yeah, these are the other tools which is we have. Now, how Maven works, Maven architecture. So Maven as a tool, uh, you have a lot of features. We have a lot of features. Now each features, basically we call it plugin in Maven, plugin, okay? So we call it plugin. Now there are two kinds of plugins you will find it. That means two kinds of features you will find it. Though Maven, you have hundreds of plugins, that means hundreds of features, but there's one core plugin and second one is a community plugin. So core plugin means, core plugin means the plugins, the feature, which, which has been incorporated in Maven itself. That means in a simple way, when we install Maven, we, could do, we get those core plugins. Now, there's a community plugins as well. That means if you want to get additional features, of uh, Maven, then uh, community also has developed functionality in Java and then you can install it. So today we'll focus on core plugins only. 
that is more than sufficient for our use cases yeah why use maven so we know that we want to automate everything in terms of build infrastructure you need testing infrastructure packaging infrastructures and stuff like that so we understand this okay now how maven works remember that i said very clearly maven is a project management tool that means it can manage from the compilation tool deploy so how it works so we need to understand that so this is the question like you have a project each one of you must be having projects now correct and talk about as the planning phase coding phase and dub 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 so you have a project and you want to do start to end so what is the project life cycle I said project life cycle, starting point to ending point. Okay, so forget about the project life cycle for some time. Tell me, this is a human life cycle, correct now? Huh? All of you. So we born, become kid, teen, young, mid, old, and die. This is the phases. So let me ask you one thing let me ask you one thing can you become old directly let's say you born and become old directly think simple and tell me can you no no so life cycle means there has certain phases these are the phase born kid, teen, young, mid, old, die. That means if you want to become young, first you have to become a teen. To become a teen, you have to become a kid. To become a kid, you have to born. If you want to die, you have to born and all this. So same way, everything you have a life cycle, guys. Everything in this, in this whole universe has a life cycle. In fact, universe also has a life cycle if if i if i read them correctly i mean right so everything so project also has a life cycle starting to end now the question is you have a project which is a, some software projects how a maven can start your project and also give an ending to it how can you do that so maven supports life cycle for the project that's the reason here i said maven is a project management tool it manages your project flow work life cycle of the project so maven has three life cycle yes maven has three life cycle for managing a project what life cycle i am having only one life cycle okay uh, I have only one life cycle, born, kid, teen, young, mid, and old and die. If I die, I don't know what is after that. So right now I'm in this category, kid. Okay, so I'll become a teen, then young, probably sometime. So, so who's, who's controlling my life cycle? Understand that. Who's controlling life cycle? So life cycle is controlled by, this life cycle is controlled by God. This life cycle is controlled by God. Now, who's the God of the software projects? So you are the God of the software project. So who will manage this life cycle for software? You will manage the software life cycle. So yes, I cannot override these phases. I cannot repeat these phases. But when you are a software engineer, you are a god for the project, you are a god for the programs, you can repeat that phases. Repeat, I said, not overwrite. So here, Maven has three life cycle for managing a project. One is, we call it a default one. Okay, so life cycle, default one. Okay, so something like that, we got also default one. But in a software project, these are the, lucky life cycle lucky uh, projects so we have developed we as a like a maven have developed 
one life cycle two life cycle three life cycle and by the way if you want to develop your own life cycle for your software project you can write it in maven that's the beauty about it so life cycle define how to start how to end are you understanding all, all of you how to start the project how to end and then you keep repeating till you do the releases are you understanding all of you hello yeah, and, yeah. Uh, prasanna yeah, srikant yeah, yeah. turin tuesh So how to how to start? So see here, guys. Understand that simple simple thing. If you have a project and if you want to automate all the activities of the your project yourself, then you can decide your own way. Understand that you can decide your own way. But Maven says, hey, you cannot decide your own way. Simple. Maman say you cannot decide your own way. I will fix your life cycle. I will fix your life cycle for managing a project, and then you will ask, okay, if I if I use you, you will fix my life cycle for the managing the product. But what will be advantage of it? So advantage will be will be saving time. Saving time. okay so if you use maven maven force you with a life cycle that means whether you are able or you are anil you are prasanna you are srikant surendra and sharma surendra and suresh you all know only one life cycle of maven so you don't need to learn multiple phases for example if i give let's say prasanna i'm giving you one project to automate the build life cycle so then you will write your own way now srikant might not be comfortable with your own way think about it maybe srikant also has written the some build automations surendra is not comfortable with his way because some some proper kt has to happen between surendra and srikant and srikant and prasanna but now when you follow maven for automating the project and maven enforces you for the life cycle management and phases that means prasanna will also do the will know the same thing srikant also would know the same thing surendra also know, know the same thing that way we all know that there is no kt program for it so maven says listen to me maven says i am a procedural build tool procedural means you follow the process i will automate for you everything again i am repeating maven says you follow me i will automate everything for you and says and apache and i am talking about and says hey do whatever you want i don't care whichever the logic you want to write write it i don't care whichever the flow phases life cycle you want to write write it so that way the cross learnings is become very difficult let's say if you change the project again you have to start from scratch okay again you need to start from scratch so that way understand that ant is a declarative language maven is procedural language let me show you one image probably that will build your understanding more better way because visualizations will be there right so so just can i'm not using any slides and all but that image is nice one so probably you understand this look at this image here see here maven says follow my process which i said follow my procedures and i'll i'll automate everything for you and and everything you have to write your own logic So, if you want to create a directory structure for the project first day, first time, it's automated. If you want to prepare for the build, you want to compile, you want to test, you want to package, you want to do anything in Maven, mostly it's automated or semi-automated. 
declarative language like ant or any other tool which we use it is manual so are you understanding in maven uh, power of maven all of you are you understanding the power of maven yes yeah yes so guys maven has got the three life cycle for managing a project that's a default default site clean so default have multiple phases i want to show you that phases so maven life cycle enter it and open up first few url of apache and results of google also has changed they should give priorities to maven website but you can click on the images actually uh-huh you can click on the images which one images and uh, that will will not have everything yeah that's a problem i want to show you that image that page just give me two second google changes that pages so uh okay let's not waste time but yeah let's go for the images i want to show you that page because that is more informative uh these all are not informative uh, just a second i think this is one yeah this is the page okay so i told you right there's a three life cycle for maven declare in this file so life cycle must be having phases right so these are the phases 23 phases i guess you have here which is uh, available in the maven to manage your project phases means we discuss right everyone have a phases <clears throat> so like that you have a phases like we have a phases everything has a phases now the question is guys uh prasanna you are saying you are saying take this project to the compile phase or let's say let's say prasanna you say hey uh, right now probably you are young and you say you want to be teen actually you want to become a teen okay so so can you do that can you reverse the flow do you have any magic mantras for it prasanna oh no, i thought you no no i i'm here yeah there there is uh, maybe there could be some kind of adjustments that can happen but uh, yeah there is no magic pill to uh, club uh, both the steps both the steps in uh, one go yeah so you can't change these phases simple you can't change the phases because you are not a god but let me remind you you are the god of your project so you can do anything that means there's a magic mantra is available please hear me out correctly this magic mantras so if you want please hear me out if you want to bring the project software project at the compile phase <laughs> then goal name is compile yes is matching that's okay but concepts are different please understand i repeat concepts are different if you want to bring the project to the test phase test phase means remember how can you test the software without compile i told you how can you become young without being a teen or a kid or born so that flow even god cannot change okay but you can repeat that multiple things so if you want to bring the project to the compile phase you will use the goal name mantra's name compile 
if you want to bring the project to the test phase, you have to use the goal name test. Now remind it, I, rem I must remind you, when you do the, when you call the goal name test, test, it has to compile first automatically that you cannot change. Even though you are a god of the projects, you cannot change. Are you understanding the concept? All of you, if you want to bring the project to the packaging stage, then you will call the goal name package. And in that, if you call a package, compile will happen, test will happen, then packaging will happen. And if you call the goal name install, uh, you, you want to bring the project to the install phase, you will call the goal name goal. I mean, you will call the goal name install. That means if you call install, compile will happen, test will happen, packaging will happen, and then install. So this, yeah, you can call it anything, whatever you want, but the flow cannot be changed. So if you call the install, compile has to happen automatically, test and package. If you call a test, compile will happen automatically, and like that. Are you understanding all of you? yeah okay so now guys this all functionality of features and goal goal is powered by plugins code plugins which you can find in maven jar so guys here if you look at this page now not this this one so default lifecycle you have so many phases you look at this that means if you call deploy start from here but if you can call it test, if you call it test, start from here. If you call compile, start from here. Now in this notes, I have written only few phases because you hardly work with all the phases. Every time either you compile or test or package or install. Are you understanding now? Life cycle concept, phases concept, and goal concept. Phases is a project phases. Goal is the magic mantras to read the to bring the project to that stage and so on. Are you understanding, guys, all of you? Yes. Okay. So now next question is how do we install it? This is the instructions which you have. So first you have to install Java because I told you. Maven is developed in Java. So how do you install Java? There are tens of ways, whichever you like, you can get it done. Right now, I have installed Java. So yes, I think I have this Java in my laptop. It should be. So I have a habit to install the Java in a tools location. Here is your Java. Java 8 is there, JDK, JDK 11 is there. This is JRE. So we need JDK, remember that, because you want to compile and all stuff like that. So JDK 11, I want to set it up in environment variable. So I will go ahead, ENV, ENV, and here under path, do you have a, I have eight set, you know what? I have eight set, what I will do, what I will do, I'll set up 11 because this is uh, it got deprecated. I don't want to show you error and all. So, so like that. Done. So guys, Java done. Java done. Now, what do you have to do? So you have to install Maven. There's no installer available as such. Just download the GIF file from Apache Maven website, extract it wherever you want, and add in the path environment, this path. So you know that I install everything in the tools. So here you have uh, Maven also, which I extracted. Uh, this is the one. 
this is the extracted one and this path i'm going to set it in environment variable path let me show you here can you locate it here it is right yes so guys you got this one also now this is done now how do we verify so open up a command line guys <coughs> and mvn hyphen v and if you get something here you should read it don't ignore we ignore a lot of message ultimately we end up troubleshooting so this is the maven version this is the home this is the os name this is java version so see that if you look at this still i am using java 8 i am not sure how come so i need to look at this i because i changed the java version to 11 so i need to check uh, because of this line you see because of this line i am going to modify now so tools java home should be this one so like this you can work and fix that issue i don't think so you will find this so hard to do the changes and all so are you okay with, are you okay with it all of you yes all of you yeah okay so now guys you have to understand some of the terminology used in maven okay terminology so guys there is one terminology you get to know in maven and that is a group id so what is a group id so let me put it in an easy way okay so you'll understand probably correlate all of you know microsoft as a company correct correct now yes so tell me that which are the projects microsoft have any two three product sure. ms office one must be using i'm sure about it if you like a games age of empire i play a lot uh what else azure box xbox windows operating system so microsoft have so many product right so microsoft have one enterprise architect also and they set up the high level guidelines so just imagine it's a very simple concept microsoft is a company commercial company so if they if some that their developers will write a program they will have to create a packaging structure I don't know whether whether you have seen or not any programs which you see any programs you will see the first line which will be package structure something like package com dot org dot something like that have you seen this in any program packaging structure all of you have you seen yeah first line if you have not seen let me show you something let's say i'm going to show you one project sub random project a github java code java project some example anything i'll just take it up anything which is coming up so every programs every languages we have a packaging structure so how do we see that Do you see this line? Okay, so this is a only small application, so they have written like that. Let me show you some biggest application: Apache, Tomcat, right? GitHub. All source code you can find in GitHub. Here it is. Java. Org Apache, Julie, yeah. 
look at this correct all of you understood now so guys in yeah so guys what i am trying to say here it's very simple what is a group id so group id will represent your company name so here let's say devops school is a company so i said and we want to develop multiple software so here how will structure so maybe i will write a group id com dot devops school dot software something like that so this will become a group id it can be one word also it can be multiple word and this will be a packaging structure that means anything for that group you have to write in the structure are you understanding now group id all of you yeah hello hello i'm audible yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay now what is artifact id in maven so guys artifact id represent your code name module name component name artifact name for example ms office is a product but what is a component powerpoint is a component so they will write something like that com dot microsoft dot software or the com dot microsoft dot word dot software something like that and component they will artifact id will be word powerpoint so guys this is the terminology which we use to represent the group id and artifact id in maven there is a two kind of <coughs> version supported one is a release so any version which you see with the numbers that's a release a release means the product has been tested validated and released to the market for the end user any package release you find with the hyphen snapshot is not ready for the production but is available for the use it's not fully tested but is available for the use so if your product is is in development stage you should keep the version with the snapshot if it's in release version then this one maven support this kind of packaging jar packaging war packaging er packaging and pom package so these are the supports so now what to do i told you in maven nothing to do remember this slide one more time and this is what i'm going to do project a name so all of you suggest suggest me one project name so which I, which i'm going to use it what should be the project name any one of you guys are you there with me <coughs> yeah anything actually so project yeah give me one project name okay so you are not giving me so i'll take it up mine so guys here i go to create one directory maven simple empty directory here i'll go and create a com uh, I'll, I'll open up a command line and now first thing which i will do create a project directory structure how can i create so i told you for everything there is a plugin so maven one plugin for creating a directory structure generate is a goal name so archetype is a plugin generate is a goal name now you need require a parameter so what parameter so in maven hyphen d we use for giving a parameter group id artifact id and stuff like that so this is the complete command these all are parameters i'll i'll just modify maven plugin goal 
group id artifact id some other parameters and interactive mode after this false this will do what create a directory structure run it enter remember that i am not doing anything maban suggests suggest all of us entire world whenever you create a project you should follow this directory structure and you might have seen this kind of directory structure while working with java or some other projects also have you seen it guys so guys here your source code will go here in this directory <coughs> your test code will go in this directory is fixed one my one simply say follow me i will automate entire things if you don't follow me then do whatever you want i will not automate are you understanding guys so now yes, yes, yes. project structure is created guys now what you need to do you have to do the coding right do the coding so i go here source main i am writing a code as a developer acting like a developer here i will write a code i wrote a, wrote a code big code spend a lot of days weeks this that uh rajesh sorry hello can yeah. you hear me yes i, I can hear you here, i still don't understand artifact how how we define this artifact sorry your voice is low to me but yeah tell me uh, what i'm saying that there is a component of artifact artifact so how we define the artifact actually uh, we can Over take command line. Or... here it is no sorry here it is so this we can take anything or it is should be a, like a naming convention or something or it may change in the future uh, after the release or some or it will be a no, for no, no, all the no. your project name you decide your component name you decide let's say my project name is devops school basically arti artifact id is a component name right like i'm writing a code in a java for one of the project like uh, maybe uh, so maybe uh, related to the student information so that called is artifact id i mean the, that name right yes that's that's correct oh okay okay thank you yeah so guys i created a a structure and i i modify the code i am writing a code i spend a lot of time writing a code same time qa team will write the test code and finally magic will start see i don't have to do anything compile testing packaging versioning deployment site generation clean up everything is automated remember that you need to call <coughs> goal so guys go into the folder where your pom.xml which pom.xml i'm talking about this one what is this i'll talk about it just give me some some time so mbn mbn is command line and anil you said hey rajesh bring this project chat project to the compile phase then i say hey yes goal name is compile and look at this plugin plugin resources compile build failure compilation issues blah 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 so what is this issues so guys this is a java issues actually i can fix it i'll search for it, this one Older compatibility we required. I can fix it. 
pom.xml i have to modify what is a pom.xml i need to discuss done should be fixed now and compilation done where is the compiled file by the way look at this how many files two files <coughs> So guys, Prasanna, you are saying, hey Rajesh, bring the project now to test phase. So I said, no problem. Maven, test. Remember that I did write you not even one line of code. And I said, even though you are a god for the project, you cannot change the flow. Even though you are calling the compile, I mean test, Compile will happen, then test will happen. Test code, there were only one test code which ran, no error. Now, Srikanth, you are saying, hey, Rajesh, do one thing, package this project. So I say, no problem, package it. And you see here, packaging also, compile happen, test happen, and finally packaging is happening. I told you, Maven supports Java by default, so packaging, where is the packaging? This is the file. Now you tell me whether it's a released version of package or snapshot version of the package. Tell me. You guys tell me. Snapshot. Ah, why snapshot? Because it is in a second phase actually. We have to release it then. Yeah. The snapshot package because any package name which has hyphen snapshot that product is still under development, not released, not stable, not fully tested, can be any reason. Okay, so now you must be wondering where is you have set it up? Don't worry, pom.xml will discuss in some time. So now Surendra, you are saying, hey Rajesh, do one thing, do something with the more, install it. Install means what is install? I'll discuss this one. So Maven install. And you see that installation is done where? If you read this, you will understand the installation means. I repeat, if you read that line, you will understand what is the meaning of installation. Okay. Now, test has done, packaging has done, then installation has done. So tell me guys, is it really difficult? How is that? All of you? No, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah. It's straightforward. Yes. Simple. Just remember a few, goal, few goals, which I said here. These are the goals. Compile, test, package, install, and everything is done. Now, the question is, what is a POM? You might have seen this pom.xml in each projects. So when I create a directory structure, it create a pom also. So guys, this is the Maven file, Maven configuration file. I repeat, this is a Maven configuration file. So what it contains? Someone is asking some question, what? Uh, Rajesh, it is test, test goal. This is you are you are uh, you are uh, I mean po pointing to test cases or it is just something else. Ah, this is a good question actually. So when you say test goal, understand that. Uh, when I say test goal, Maven has inbuilt feature to compile all the things of this one and this one, and running this one as a test cases. Running, see. Compilation is one process, running is a different process. So first they will compile this one and this one, and then run this code on the classes of this. That's called goal. It's inbuilt behavior. So basically the test, main test is uh, maybe some file or something where uh, test, uh, all these tester has written the test cases and those file has to be compiled and uh, run, right? Yeah, 
where where the test team will write here it is this is the test cases will be written see one dummy test cases you have it but qa team will write more test cases remember i said in devops you mm -hmm. need to code for the program uh, code for the product you need to code for the testing the product you need to code for the infrastructure operations and cac but the, how the test team can uh, i mean uh, can define the test because they are not the developer or they are just i mean uh, you know no the test cases they have to write in java selenium j unit and all stuff like that how part that is a different question but he has to write mm, okay by the way if you want to open up this test it's a sample j unit test cases actually so he has to write there is no other way everything should be automated how to write that's a different question okay okay so question was what is pom pom file pom.xml so pom.xml is your configuration for maven yes pom.xml is your configuration for maven so everything about the project everything i said is there in the pom.xml look at this we call it project object model is xml file and what do you have so if you look at this file a little carefully just ignore this line on top of it because it's a xml standard related code so remember that over the command line i passed the group id is here it came here remember that i passed chat as an artifact id i did not pass the packaging but it is a default packaging so take it i did not pass versioning but it's a starting versioning name your company name and here this i added to fix that compilation issues and here you see the dependency dependency means remember i said maven is having dependency management capability that means let's say your pro program is using some other program your code is using some other code as a dependent libraries for example if you look at it this code itself test code so tell me what you understand from this line tell me and I'll, then i'll explain it to you all of you all of you actually there is a classes imported as test and test cases that suit which, uh, which so is written outside the they Sorry? are importing some other classes other classes yes which is written in outside the i mean the code but we are importing in other uh, class yeah so this jar file has to be there but the question is simple question is how do we get a j unit jar file because the moment you get a j unit jar file in a class path then only this this class this class this class will be imported in this code and here you see extend test cases which is here and here calling this functionality basically extending the code so how can you set how can you get think simple guys how can you get the libraries automatically configure in your java environment java class path how can you get that's a line this one how it works i'll explain it yes so you need to tell maven hey maven please hear me out this there's a dependency so you need to tell if you don't write this one this program will fail because the dependency won't find it so that you need to specify this section and then tell hey maven i need this package this package i need this package and loaded should be in the test phase this is a phase okay not a goal simple so now i am informing maven maven i need this package go and get for me 
so the maven will try something like a repository so this this concept you need to understand little bit carefully so please uh, please focus on my screen now and here look at my screen all of you look at my screen all of you here this is you okay you have two leg two hand two eyes and you say maven maven goal name maven compile maven test maven something okay so maven what the moment you read run the command please hear me out clearly i'll not repeat so whatever you say maven compile maven test maven this maven that so maven read that file which file pom.xml now maven read that file and then read that file and they found out okay dependencies so i need to download the, 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 this file this package so maven go and find out this package this package in this where in this where dot m2 this is called local repository so i'll write it this is local repo where exactly that is let me show you default location so let me go to this path uh command line is easier for me because i don't like this this is a path okay and dot m2 repository so basically you know what guys look at my screen all of you very carefully maven look for that package <coughs> which package this package in the local repo that's a default path okay so can i go and check whether that file is there or not junit junit 3.8.1 so let me go to this file look for junit directory here junit 3.8.2 and this is the jar file need to set up in the class bar maven will do that for you don't worry about it so guys done right so they wanted to have junit jar file and they got it from the local repo correct now all of you hello yes. hello Yes. Hello? Where is this yeah, define yeah. local repo? Huh? And how the Maven, Maven will understand that I have to download this uh, RPM or I mean the far file from this repo? repo. Somewhere it this should is be the somewhere. Directory. I can't change this directory name? Yes, I mean, you can uh, change. Everything can be changed in the software. Let me tell you. If yeah. someone says you can't change, it's not possible. Everything can be changed. But I said Maven default repository would be your user home dot m2 repository that's all no one changes that you can change no one changes. basically if i if i deploy my java code you are saying i have to deploy here in this repository okay okay please hear me out i said maven will look <coughs> maven will look for the package here and if they get it wonderful how to get here that's a different thing okay no the test cases test cases is written by me only okay that i have written and also you are saying that i have to uh, deploy those those things in this directory then only no no no, no. i never said i said simple thing you need to write the test cases simple hear me out you need to write a mm -hmm. code or you need to write test cases and any external packages which you are using please please sign a form of well. that's all maven will look for that directory i said no not you are looking for it maven will look for it got it yeah but it has to be configured right uh, the uh, next point i'm not uh, telling you so just hold on first okay now question guys let's say this file is not there here i will delete look at my screen all of you delete this <coughs> proof you see that the file is not there 
Now I will build it. Guys, look at my screen here. I will, let's say, I am calling to uh, package. Okay. And look at my screen here. And read this line. What is this? So basically, guys, you know what? If the package, if the package is not found here, you know what? Maven will go and download from where? We call Remote it central. Security. What is central repo? I think you should copy the <coughs> path from here. This is the central repo. Where is that? Look at my screen. This is sent. Oh, you no no no. Just again. Just again. This is a central repo, guys. Who manages this repo? <coughs> Apache. So look at the, look at here. J unit. Here it is. J unit. Here it is. 3.8.2. Here it is. This is the jar file I need. So what will happen? You know what? If it's not found, then it will go and search the package at central <coughs> repo and copy it here locally and then set into the path and then do the work. Understood all of you? Understood all of you? So now, Earlier yes, I deleted. Yes, yes. Now yes. again, you see J unit has come. Got it now? Yes, yes. Now you will say, Rajesh, okay, fine, I understood that. But what about my package is not here? What about that I'm using some library and the package is not hosted by Apache? Then what should I do? No problem. That is where your next tool will come into the picture and that's called nexus or artifactory okay so what i will say maven hey maven don't go to central go to nexus <coughs> go to nexus simple don't go then you'll say, Rajesh, no, 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 no. I need both the package. See here. Look at this. You will run Maven commands. Read the pom.xml. Package is not found. It's not there in central. It's there in the nexus or artifactory. So then I need to tell Maven, hey, Maven, go to this place. How to do that? That's a different question. But yeah. I will tell Maven go to this question uh, this uh, this uh, repository private this is called private repository this is a public one okay then you say rajesh i need that one so i'll say no problem i can proxy from central to nexus and a nexus you get public packages also private packages also and this will become your ultimate truth for your organizations understood or not guys All of you? No, no. What is Nexus? <laughs> ah, there's a uh, Nexus and Artifactory. I'm teaching you in a next tomorrow session. Oh, okay. I'll 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 simplify today. Now, Nexus is your Play Store. Do you know Play Store, right? Yes. Play Store okay. or maybe yes. App uh, Apple guys App Store. So Nexus is your app store or artifactory is your app store for the your organization packages. Please hear me out one more time. Artifactory is your play store which contain the your packages from your project and organization. Private repository. Play store is a public one. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So 
so now guys you have understood this also now if you want to define certain properties in maven you can define so these are the property this property which you see is a plugin property we set which plugin compiler plugin <laughs> so you can decide any property so now i'll have a, some slide self look at this this is your pom.xml that area which you see over there we call it coordinates okay that is that contains group id artifact id packaging version that those things we call it coordinates here if you want to inherit some properties from the different form which we call it a parent form you can call it the parent section modules modules means i'll put it in a simple way chat chat module i'm implementing i'm not explaining please understand that explanation yourself mail a gmail one component second component this i will change it so chat gmail this is a software gmail done so i got a two module one is chat module gmail module how do i build it so <coughs> both of this i want to not build one both of this <coughs> what should i do so i'll delete all this stuff okay master different name master script master packaging is not required it's a form packaging versions let it be and now i will call module wow so modules modules module name what is that i'll just copy maven module example i don't want to copy paste i mean i don't want to write it so i will copy paste this whole things and what is my module so my module name is chat gmail so what i did modules is basically a master concept you can build multiple projects together so now come to the command line and compile both the projects mbn compile enter so now two modules you can build it at a time you see here this is a chat <coughs> this is a gmail <coughs> and this is master that's called module in maven properties i explain it to you properties you can define like this the one which i said look at this here i am defining custom property hibernate.version is a custom property in my code i had decided the plugin property that was a inbuilt and how do you use it look at the dollar sign curly braces and this one so like that dependency we discuss about it already and build if you want to customize any pro plugin then you use the build section that's least used until you get into advanced and stuff like that so guys this is your maven <coughs> so guys any question so far any question so far suresh no no surendra it's fine srikant 
okay. I, I think I missed that part, uh, Rajesh, uh, where uh, you are talking about creating a proxy from central repository to proxy repository, or maybe like uh, Nexus repository. So did you explain that, or I missed it? I don't know. Uh, what uh, oh, I from central said, central said, central said, repository to uh, pro creating a proxy to Nexus repository. How, how to do that? How to do that? Uh, that's a Nexus video. You need to check it out. But tomorrow I'm going to cover this uh, artifactory. How to create a proxy in artifactory? I'll teach you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Then it's fine. Are you using Nexus? Uh not very actively but yeah uh, in some of my projects yes it's in use yeah so if if i show you an artifactory you should be able to do in nexus also i'm okay. using artifactory as part of uh, this session uh, nexus i used to include in the last year so you must be having my videos on nexus uh, but you know what i'm i'm thinking from the next month courses i should move back to nexus why because Artifactory has uh, made this uh, this this feature uh, hosting the Docker image feature paid, and I'm not liking it because every time you have to download the image and you have to fight with them to get a license. So I'm thinking Nexus has made it everything is open source, so it's a good for us. Okay. Okay, so ultimately what you are going to do? Two things. Maintain the pom.xml and run the goal. And the goal you know that Maven compile, test, package, and all stuff like that. I would request you to look at this URL output very carefully because it has a lots of answers which you are looking for. Okay. Uh, another question, Rajesh. So, when we are basically defining CI CD pipeline, uh, Maven is generally used only for the build purpose. The other activities like test and other stuff that, that those are being handled by other tools. So, no, no, no. You can use for the testing purpose also, right? Yeah, but, but uh, also. in general uh, world, uh, Maven is just used for build, right? Huh. General world, see, it's, it's all about this. Uh, people want to do the things not in a right way, but the way which they are comfortable with it. Simple. So that's the reason people do only the build and then rest of the things again, they do as per their comfort level. But actually they should automate everything through the Maven also. Okay. More questions, guys. Okay, so I will not have a gradle session today because I'm getting little extra pain in in my this one. I wanted to cancel today's session, but I thought no, let's let's do that at least one. But I have some infection in my neck, so I need to do something. So gradle sessions will take it up some other time. Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow we will have session. And uh, if you want to learn gradle also, you'll have uh, videos on LMS. But we'll have some time. I'll see that where I can accommodate this tool, and we'll have it. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a sessions on artifactory, and uh, one more tool I think I forgot. I guess Packer. So we'll try to no, have man. two sessions. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, Rajesh. Yeah. 